All right, we're at the coffee shop. It's a noisy morning, but we're going to make a song in Studio One. So let's go to Loops. See what we can come up with here. <clears throat> How about guitar? Let's go into guitar and let's go into what's electro pop? Let's see what we got in going in there. Let's go under loop. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's use that. And we can look down here, we can see it was recorded at 120 BPM, and that's what our project is, so we're good there. So let's just loop it. All right, and let's, uh, let's go into drums now, and maybe try to find a beat that fits that. Let's go into pop, and let's go into full, and let's just mess around. And let's hit the metronome here so it plays at the project's tempo. So that's blue. Let's try this. And we can hear how it sounds by playing it along with this here. All right, that sounds very cool, very 80s. That's pretty neat. All right, so let's bring in a synth bass. Let's ring my time. And I don't know what key this song is in, so we're going to have to figure that out. But um, let's go to bass and maybe go to silencio. And pop this open. Ooh, perfect. I didn't even not know what Silencio was, but that's going to work out really good. Okay, so it sounds like the song's an E. So let's write a little pattern here in E. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we'll go... Dun -dun. We'll go like... Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right, let's hear how this sounds. I have no idea how this is going to go over. All right, let's check it out. Sounds pretty good, actually. So why don't we keep that? I just, I actually just got lucky on that one, guys. All right, let's keep that and duplicate it. Let's do it for four. And then, then let's change, change the chord. So this is starting on E. So this one. Okay, so let's go up to a G for this next one. So. And actually, let's just take these, these two notes. All right. So let's duplicate that, and then let's go. All right, let's go to that one. Up to an A. And let's duplicate that. Up to a D, so maybe go down to the D. All right, let's hear how that sounds. From, what did I do here? Did I do what I wanted? No, I totally didn't. All right. 
let's redo this. So I'm gonna duplicate that. So I'm gonna start that on E. And let's grab this whole thing and duplicate it and bring this just these two up to the G. And then let's duplicate that and bring these two up to the A. And maybe these up to the A too. And then duplicate that and bring these two down to the D. Let's all right, so let's hear it from five to nine. Let's bring this down to a, oh, that, that was on the wrong note. It's on D sharp, but we just bring it down to a, let's bring it down, let's bring it down to a C. And we'll go four C's. And then four Ds. Oh, neat. This is a pretty cool song. All right, so let's, uh, so let's add a bit, let's add some chords in here. So let's go to presence. And how about Stratocaster, B and W. Black and white. American double cutaway guitar with extended top horn shape. No. All right. Ooh, don't do that. All right, so let's draw in some chords. Zoom in. We gotta go that. So let's do E. G, B is E minor, so we're gonna do that four measures. Just one strum, and then we're gonna go up to a G, which is actually G, B, D. And then we're gonna go up to a, an A minor, which is A, C, E. And then we go down to a C, which is C, E, G. So we can just take this to, and this to a, uh, and then we can, we actually do that just for half. And then we do a G next, which is up to, and let's hear how that sounds. All right, I think it's pretty cool. But let's actually like, take this a little farther out so the C goes to the D right at the end. Neat. All right, let's play from the beginning. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on the build up a little bit here. I just, I don't want it to play the whole bass riff, just these first two notes of the bass riff. So let's just get rid of that. And then we just, we'll duplicate. Let's hear how that sounds. And because this part's the intro, why don't we tone down this guitar here a little bit with some EQ so we can automate some EQ. So let's go in here and do an insert, Pro EQ, and we'll take some of the lows out. And then, and then when it hits this part, we turn off the EQ. So how do we do that? Well, well, let's go back to that. Well, we can turn this automation lane on, and let's go to the EQ, 
and right click on here so adjust that frequency we should see a lane now that appeared for that and good so we want that and like this and we want it to be completely off when it gets there Cool, cool. All right, and just the next thing I heard that I think we need to change is the snare drum here. This one, let's do four hits of that. So I'm gonna hit three on my keyboard to get the chop, and I'm gonna chop it here. I'm gonna hit one, and let's shrink this guy down so it goes four of those, and let's hear how that sounds. Cool, now let's get a symbol, a crash symbol. Um, probably best way to do that is under files, crash. All right, let's try that one. Lower it a little bit. Nice. Cool, what else can we add here to kind of build things up? Actually, that's a pretty good start. I think that's all we're gonna do for today. The idea of these videos is just to give you guys some ideas of getting rolling and give you some spark of inspiration. Maybe try something you would have not normally tried on your own and just come up with a start of a song and get you going. So the juices, my juices are flowing. So hopefully you've got some juice flowing too. All right, I'll see you next time.